दिस इज फोन कॉल बेस्ड होम सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम गाइस फॉर दिस वीडियो आई एम यूजिंग अड्रीनो ओनो अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर आरजीजे मॉड्यूल अ बजर मॉड्यूल एंड सम जंपर वायर्स एंड अ मोबाइल फोन अ सिम कार्ड अ सेल फोन बैटरी Guys, here is the circuit connection. So first, in ultrasonic sensor, the VCC is connected to the 5 volt uh, of Arduino, and the echo pin is connected to the digital pin number 7 of Arduino, and the transmitter or your trigger pin is connected to digital pin number 8 of Arduino, and the ground of ultrasonic sensor to the ground of Arduino. And uh, now comes the connection of relay. The ground of relay is connected to the ground of Arduino, and the input uh, of relay is connected to the digital pin number 2 of Arduino, and the VCC. Connected to the 3.3 volts of Arduino, and here you can see a keypad phone. So here from a push button, um, middle when uh, middle I had shoulder out two wires from the middle and from the outer circumference. So taking this wire and just putting in uh, this rel uh, in this in relay. So with this you can do the connection. So uh, uh, let's see. Okay guys, here is the programming part. So first, I had created some variables that will store some values. So these values will be the digital pins of our Arduino board. So that trigger pin will store the 8 number and the echo pin will store the 7 number. After that, I have created an integer as count. So here you have seen as const. So it is a constant that its value can't be changed. So I have to change the value which is stored in the count variable. So that's why I have not using here constant. So let's move on to the void setup. So here in the void setup, I have started the serial communication between the Arduino and my PC. So here with the baud rate of 9600, I have started it. And after that, I have written here uh, that which pin I am using for and for what purposes. So the trigger pin uh, of the ultrasonic sensor uh, sends the uh, send the ultrasonic waves. So that's why I, here I am using it as output. And the echo pin receives the ultrasonic sound waves. So that's why I have written here as input. And the two number pin uh, is the relay uh, where the relay is connected. So let's move on to the void loop. So because in the void loop, I had made another variable and it's a local variable. So here as duration and distance. So it will store some values. So after that, I have uh, make a pulse like that as digital right trigger pin high. And then after one millisecond, it will low. It will generate a pulse that high low high low. Then in the duration, I am storing this data as pulsing and it will generate a pulse to read that I use in here a pulsing command then echo pen then high. So next is distance uh, then the distance will store as the duration. So duration half of duration. So wire half. So here you can see the TX of Arduino uh, sorry the TX of ultrasonic sensor send the uh, ultrasonic waves and whenever the object is detected it sends back the ultrasonic waves and from the RX pin it sends. 
so you can see here from going here and from returning from here the time is calculated two times so therefore we have to calculate our new time to measure the accurate distance so that's why i am using the ori half of original time as our new time so here you can see as duration as half and here 29.1 is the speed of ultrasonic waves so after that i have chosen here some if else uh, control commands here if and the values which are stored in the distance is smaller than 50 it means that if someone crosses from the uh, ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor then it will do some commands over here so here a delay function is used a delay for 400 milliseconds then after that here and uh, the firstly the in the count variable zero i have stored zero and here you can see zero and here the count plus one means now the value which is stored in count is one so one so uh, why i have added here 400 milliseconds so if the person which who is passing from the ultrasonic sensor passes and uh, just simultaneously then it will okay but if he passes it from so slowly then it's uh, the values which are stored in the count increases in very fastly so we can read that so that's why here i'm using a delay function of 400 milliseconds so then after that if uh, so now the count variable stored one so if count equals equals one here it's comparison operator and then it will do this task so first it will digital write to high it means that it will turn on the delay and then will serial that means it will print in serial monitor that making a call okay guys so after that here else if count equals equals two so if the count variables becomes two that uh, after that uh, second time when the person will get out from the room i get the call again. so that's why here i'm using low i'm just lowering down the digital and after that the else if then count uh, whenever the uh, count, uh, the values that are stored in the count will be greater or equal to 3 then it will assign the value of count to 0 as if the person is going uh, and just coming back, going and coming back so the count value will be increasing so that's why here I am using this so thanks for watching guys